I am a man of few words. So, in conclusion, <laughs> thank you all for coming out. My name is Ben Ritter. I have been a lover of logic and logic puzzles and solving problems and problem solving and all sorts of different ways you want to reword that for as long as I can remember. When I was young, my dad taught me a little bit of Python. I learned a little bit of C++ doing robotics in high school. And I took two semesters in high school at Visual Basic, in which I and one other kid took the teacher's teacher book and just ran with it to do our own thing because nobody else could pay attention. I got an internship at the end of my high school career with Cerner on a development team. And that's actually where I learned C Sharp. I have been developing my C Sharp skills ever since then. I went to one year of college for computer science. College experience means that you also learn a whole bunch of stuff you weren't there for. And while computer science was definitely fun and interesting, it turned out not to be exactly what I was looking for. So after that, I got a job in which I dispatched on alarms and trouble conditions for alarm systems for residences and commercial accounts. I got to talk to a whole variety of people from across this country and Canada, and got to interface with police agencies, fire departments and gain that kind of dynamic. Then I started doing troubleshooting for that, which was really fun for me because I like problem solving and there were these big situations that I got to say, okay, here's what I know and here's what I need you to do and all of this works. And I'm doing it blind because I want to talk to you on the phone. But there's only so far that goes, I can move further on the company, but not in the whole problem solving field. So my dad, who works here, convinced me to come here do the .NET track, which is what I did. And now I have two things to show you, because I worked on a personal project alongside this course, although I pretty much finished it up before we started on this two-week thing. Since you've seen a whole bunch of ticket support trackers, I'm going to kind of breeze through mine. I am going to cover all the basics, and then I'm going to move over to my other projects. So this <laughs> is my Victory Vending Vendors. I was originally going to make the Star Trek theme and call it Triple Trouble, uh, Triple Trouble Ticket Tracker, but that was going to be problematic presenting it. So I decided to go with Victory Vending Vendors instead, securing your sweet snacks. And is this, uh, can you read that from back there? You can actually read those words? You get better glasses than I do. You're not wearing glasses. Let me, uh, let me see my name real quick. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and log in and I conveniently have on another screen that you cannot see the directory of logins I can use. We are going to sign in as a, and this is not themed after anything like uh, How to Train Your Dragon or Jetsons, it's just a random name generator and a random face generator, so I apologize for some of those faces you're going to see. <laughs> ah, you know, I'm going to say never because that's not Okay, I am being told that I am welcome here. This is my HR manager, and I'm going to just start off by coming over to my employees. Where I have a nice look. There's me! There's me. <laughs> okay, so we just do little blurbs here. Uh, by the way, my personal site, which is the QR code you see on the packet, as well as all the sites I've done, are completely mobile responsive, which is kind of also why I do this to demonstrate that. But I am going to add a new employee, of which I also conveniently have. Yeah. 
down the line of many more roles because I was doing mine themed after, inspired from actually where I worked before because we did a lot of job tickets in which case you actually have to send technicians out to the patients. So I kind of think around that and I did not think I would move from that. Instead, female number. You want to? I'm so happy. Yes. I've already used her. Fourth one, I can do the fourth one. We'll do the fourth one. And it's the third email. Let's just look at her. Beatrice. Dot. Holes. At. She lives at 123, I'm not tell, uh, telling you. Yeah. We're going to say that, you know what, we're going to hire her yesterday. We're going to create her. She will be there, she's at the end of the list. Exorcism. 
Everything outside of C sharp. Everything outside of C sharp. HTML, JavaScript, jQuery. I, you should probably guess I use jQuery for the menu here for those the pop up things. Uh, that was really fun to get into. And the database stuff. And the most importantly, put it all together. Yes? Uh, more of a comment than a question. Obviously, really good stuff you've got here for both of your, your applications that you showed. I also want to commend you on uh, the way you presented this. I don't think I've seen a better uh, demo of how someone would actually use the application done in one of these projects. And when you're talking in front of your corporate team and trying to explain your application, that can be very helpful instead of just saying feature, feature, feature. And we don't have a lot of time to prepare for presentations here, but the way you deliver that, really good. Very helpful. Yes. First of all, nice paper. Um, <laughs> FedEx uh, upgraded my paper for free. <laughs> so, it writes well. Um, so with your Pokemon app, how are you propagating the data into the system? You have an interface for that? Or like how do I fill it in? <laughs> so, is it as slick as what you've got here? Or is it... it is as slick, and it was also developed before I polished this other stuff. This other stuff is polished in the interface. That being said, I added all 621 moves uh, by hand. Let me show you what a move looks like and you'll understand why that was a stupid idea. <laughs> because A, there are 621 of them, and B, I just got this information. It's not all that much, except after I was done, I was faced with the prospect of doing it for more than 700 Pokemon, which each one of which has more data. Yeah, so for the Pokemon, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to write a crawler app. So I wrote a console program to go through some download web pages and strip the data in from it. Especially came in handy whenever I did the ways that Pokemon can learn moves. There were over 50,000 of those uh, those relationships, so believe that I didn't enter those by hand. I did some entry by hand, some manual adjustments in cases where there was just too many of a case to really bother accounting for my father. For the most part, I got a lot of the work done, and it was fun watching all those console things that made it the most wrong. And the timer, it took four minutes to go through those pages, 15 seconds to upload to my local database. I'm proud of that. Yes? Speaking of databases, how many tables are in the database for this Pokedex? <laughs> Let's. I don't know. It shouldn't have to be exact. I have the database timer. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 99% accurate. This will take just a second, so while I'm doing that, any other questions? <clears throat> like, do they use any external libraries or anything? Yeah. Just, just accessing, just opening the file, you know, it's a file reader, going through getting the stream, and looking for certain things, and moving back to certain apps. So you just, you didn't. I did, I did download all the web pages in the WGET. The same application that uh, was used to get all those classified files from the <laughs> Yes, yeah. the people that all the information that the programs been around for a while is pretty cool used before. So I did that to get all the pages downloaded, and then I just wrote my program to find certain text within there. I'm sure there are better ways of doing that. I did, well, I the I got get a parcel. Yeah, I used an auto job to it. But the the parcel wasn't completely in the C sharp. Sorry, I it's hard for people to talk and do stuff at the same time. <laughs> Will that allow me to say that this Pokedex project started four or five years ago? I've heard about Pokedex and Pokedex and all these Pokemon and all their moves and all the things they can do. I've been mentally planning how all the structure would work, and considering that there was a new generation added in between all that, so that is a complexity. Yeah. But it's been console apps until now. Now it's all cool. And what uh, what mobile platforms have you tested on? You said it was mobile ready. It is mobile friendly. I tested it on mom's phone. Tested it on what? So here, here, here's an idea. It's very much like this. I, I did have to add a couple extra tables to it. Uh, 
um, this is the database starting to work ahead of time just to make sure I got everything down. Um, and Lydia tested it on her Mac with shrinking her thing down, so I just thought it was hard. Yeah, so this is your question. It does. Okay. And just a quick comment about it. Um, I had been for our SQL class, and he had this put together before we even started. So, uh, kudos to you. It is a really the complex piece of uh, work. Like I said, make things more complicated. Yeah. Um, uh, Jay, I think this is where you, you can just drop the mic and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic job.